Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to RC Insiders. Um, we finally got our oil-filled aluminum adjustable shocks for our hay boxing 2995 desert truck, guys. This thing has been really super fun. Been having a good time with it. Um, we already got the wheels off here, so we're going to go ahead and put these cool new shocks on it. You guys hang around to the end. We'll take it out and we'll see how much better it rides with these new shocks on. So you've seen how bouncy it was. Let's get these on and, and uh, see just how much improvement we can make. So you remember guys, you don't need nothing special. The 2995 came with its own little set of tools. Nothing special, just a little lug wrench and a little Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, guys, pro tip, when you're taking anything apart, coffee filters are your friend. Look at that, they hold everything. Like if you're rebuilding a trans or you know anything you're, you're trying to do, a bunch of little parts, screws, coffee filters are the way to go. Keep things organized because if you know you guys like remember the little tiny pins that hold your that hold your wheel in, those things are so easy to lose guys. So just keep them in a coffee filter. It'd be perfect. So we got the wheels off. You don't really have to take the wheels off to do this to uh, install these shocks. It's just a little Phillips head screwdriver that holds them in. <laughs> Phillips head screwdriver. Let's call it a Phillips head screw, right? Just be careful guys not to strip the screw. If you don't have a hundred screws laying around like we do, you're going to be in trouble if you strip them. So just take your time nice and easy. And eventually they'll come out. Wow, them are long. All right, before we get it all the way out, you got the same thing right here on the bottom. Just a little Phillips screw. Guys, look at all this sand. It looks like we brought the beach home with us. <laughs> Remember when we were running it on the baseball field? As soon as we took these tires off, we found all kinds of sand. <laughs> oh, so how you guys doing? Are you ready for Christmas? I'm super stoked, super excited. It's our favorite time of the year. Too bad it has to come with cold and snow, right? <laughs> but just so I don't forget, guys, Merry Christmas. I hope uh, everybody's doing well. I hope you get some cool RC cars <laughs> for Christmas. Man, that is a long screw. Okay, I'm going to invest in... Uh, you guys seen those little automatic screwdrivers, battery operated? It would be ideal for this situation. Alright, so there's one. Don't lose your screw, guys. Looks like it just pops out of that little cup. After you get the screw out, you finish up that top screw. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And that shot comes right out of there. Man, that would be a crazy ride, right? <laughs> Alright, here's the new shocks. They're hay boxing parts. Super parts. Um, I'll try to find the link, guys, and leave them in the description. You know, if you want to do this little mod, I think it'll be well worth it. Nice. Got some nice damping action on those. See the difference? That old springy, sticky feeling on the old springs. Nice smooth bounce on the oil filled aluminum shocks. Alright, guys, one thing to keep in mind if you look at these at your shock, you'll notice that, that one side is a big flat spot on it. One side is just your normal entry hole, but you want that flat side to go up against your shock tower like so so we'll get that screw started Doo -doo 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 -doo. and I'm trying to do this with this little screwdriver it's getting it started is the hard part right guys and then once you get in remember push firmly against it. We're trying not to strip that screw, right guys? And 
before we go too far, we'll get our bottom one started in. Where it sits in that little cup right there. And that screw should go in nice and easy. We always say should. Ah, see? Never say it goes in easy. It looks like if you look in there, there's two, two different settings, uh, screw holes, so you can adjust the height of the ride. But we're going to go right back into the original hole. If we can find it. So a little patience <laughs> will go a long way when you're dealing with little screws like that. You just have to wiggle it around a little bit guys so you can find that hole and get it in there. Man, I need that battery operated screwdriver. <laughs> You know what else comes in handy, guys? A ratcheting screwdriver. <laughs> but you definitely do not need this. You can do the whole entire uh, mod with the tools that it came with. But this does make life a little easier. Okay, a lot easier. Remember, no need to over tighten. You just want them tight. Just nice and snug. There we go. Much better. And they look cooler too. <laughs> Alright, we'll quickly do the back. Just the same deal guys, push against it so you're not stripping it. Oh, it's tight. Boy, that one is in there tight, guys. I'll lift this up. Oh, it's finally starting to come loose. Hey guys, you want to see what a, the difference in the size of the tires are? So that's the $29.95. I'm going to check out this. I got a brand new Traxxas Max tire. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that thing is huge compared to that one. <laughs> the Traxxas Max tire. Big, big difference. Oh, that, that one screw right there has been tight the whole time. Alright, I think we got... And that, that one's just going to sit right in that cup, just like it did on the other side. So yeah, pretty cool. You can do this whole thing with just the tools that the truck already came with. I believe this was only under $20 for all four of these uh, new shocks. Old shock out. Get some of that sand out of there while we got it open. 
Hey guys, check this out. Looks like it comes with new screws. So, yep. There's four new screws in the package. That's cool. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six new screws. So, I guess if you strip them, you get another chance. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, where'd them old screw goes? I like having screws laying around. Wow, do I really like having screws laying around. Remember guys, just snug. We don't want to strip anything. I know we got more screws, but you know, we also don't want to strip the, the strip the threads that are in the plastic either. Go ahead and get this one tightened back up. All right, cool. Front and rear done. And I think that's going to be a much better ride, guys. All right, we're going to go ahead and we'll finish up the other side. Get the tires and everything put back on. And then we'll see you out and we'll bash it around a little bit and see how it runs. See you in a minute. Well, guys, before we head out, uh, remember how you were getting, when we dropped it, you'd get that suspension slap? Check that out. Sounds, you know, it feels more like a, sounds like the uh, max hit in the ground or something. So that's really awesome. Shocks are, have some nice damping action on them. Feels nice and thuddy and, and solid when it hits the ground. Just great, great shocks. All right, let's go bash it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Here's Mr. Max. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Here, here the max hitting. Yeah, it's got that nice thuddy sound, and now we got the same sound on the hay boxing desert truck. All right, <laughs> all right, let's go for a ride, right, guys. See how the new aluminum shocks for the hay boxing 2995 desert truck works, uh, guys. It's like three o'clock in the afternoon. This is what's so disappointing about winter. It's like three o'clock. It's a little bit of rain, a little bit of snow, and it's already dark out. All right, let's see how they roll. tell right off the bat like when I turned like that before before those shocks it would just flip right over that's a, a full speed turn no issues not flipping over Stay out here and see how quick we can get us stuck in the snow. Call that snow nuts. So it really does go through the snow and stuff pretty well. Somebody's gonna have fun cleaning this one up today. <laughs>
All right, guys. <laughs> so fun little bash. Um, the shocks are awesome. I mean, just so much better with the uh, oil-filled shocks. Huge, huge upgrade for you know not a lot of money. Absolutely 100% worth it. <laughs> it makes it such a much better ride. So this is gonna be fun to clean up tonight. <laughs> Woo! But yeah, absolutely, absolutely recommend. If you're gonna do anything to it, any any upgrades at all, I go with the shocks. I mean, you completely lose that, uh, you know, the suspension slap we call it, where the you know bottoms out. It just hits and it's good to go. Dang, not even I can roll it over. <laughs> All right, guys, so awesome stuff. Do, I mean, if you're gonna do anything, like I said, go ahead and, and uh, do the shock upgrade. Absolutely worth it. All right, guys, don't forget, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Scroll down in the description a little bit. Make sure you're entered to our into our giveaways. There's links down there. Um, something fun, something cool every week. Upgrades, beating stuff up. Whatever we can do to have a little fun on the weekends, right, guys? All right, guys, until next time, happy bashing, my friends. Oh, wait, guys. Hey. Merry Christmas.